So, Mr. Withers, how long have you been playing saxophone? Six years, ma'am. I see you're studying with Professor Collins. How's that been going? It's been great. Yeah, he's a terrific So what are you be playing learning. today? All the Things You Are by Charlie Parker. Whenever you're ready. all the things you are. Again? What is that supposed to mean? It's fine, it's just... You've played that same song for the last, like, four auditions. You sound a little bored when you play it. You know, I think that you should mix it up. Keep it spicy. Well, the judges aren't looking for spice. I'm sorry. Okay, but these auditions have really been stressing me out, and I'm running out of time to land a gig. And this is your last semester at Manhattan School of Music. You need to enjoy it. I mean, next year you're gonna be too busy with adulting, and trust me, finding a job in the real world, it sucks. Well, musicianship is a real job. Right? Do I need to list off more artists who have so poignantly forged the soundtrack to our lives and to our movies? Yes, I know. Louis Armstrong, Hans Zimmer. All I'm saying is that you probably want a steady source of income for these in-between stages. Well, if I could land a fucking gig, then there wouldn't be any in-between stages. That's why you need to play songs that you're passionate about, not songs that you want the judges to hear. Kate, you really have a talent, and I don't want you to blow it away. Just play what you love. You want to know why I fell in love with you? It's because of how passionate you were about your music. I mean, remember how we met? On the subway? You were playing that song? Shut the fuck up! No one wants to hear this freaking shit! Hey. Keep playing, I liked it. And so did at least 12 other people. <laughs> no, it is getting pretty late. Well, this is the city that never sleeps. Gershwin. Bless you. No, no, were you playing um, Gershwin's Summertime? Yeah, I was. Do you, uh, you like jazz music? Yeah, yeah, my dad was actually a trumpet player, so I kind of grew up on it. Yeah, it's just the best. Almost as cool as photography. Oh, it's just a hobby. How about you show me some pictures? Come on, I showed you mine, so you gotta show me yours. God, I mean, it's only fair. Yeah. Holy shit. These, these are incredible. Thank you. So, um, do you do this professionally, or...? I don't know. Not yet, but I've got some auditions lined up, and some gigs here and there. You know how it is. Well, <laughs> no, I'm just a banker. I'm not good enough to do it professionally, so... What are you talking about? These photos are amazing. They're, they're unique. They're raw. They're you. Well, it's a little too late for that now. Yeah, those were the days. So then why don't you play music that made total babes stop and listen to you? Because the judges wouldn't stop for summer times. Right, they're looking for quality and, and technicality. And, and passion and soul. And yeah, 
I get it. Anyway, what do you think of these edits? on this stuff for the auditions constantly. And you know what we haven't worked on in a while? Okay. Nancy, do you not understand how important this is to me? This is my last shot before I go out into the real world. And not to mention, this is for the Grammy band. I understand. I think I understand more than anybody the shit you've been going through for these auditions. Your career doesn't hinge on you landing a professional gig to make a living. You really think that this has only been affecting you for the past three weeks? You've been more angry, more irritated, and more stressed out than you've ever been because all you want to do is please these fucking judges. Because that's all they want. All they want is to be pleased. Okay, they don't care about real music. But you do. I've been out there in the real world, and it's fucking miserable. You actually have a real shot at something amazing and you're throwing it away because you're only focused on playing for other people and not playing for yourself. Look, play what you're passionate about and people will love it. How many times do I have to tell you that? You say you get it, but you don't. You don't. Cade, I love you, but I fell in love with a musician, not a sellout.
Get it. I can't believe I'm letting you immortalize this moment in a photo. No, you look good. You got a little. <laughs> so, uh, you're a big music guy? Oh, huge, yeah. Well, what made you want to get into it? I guess I've always kind of been into it. You know, I wasn't good at, at athletics or academics, but music I found a passion for. And the directors in middle school and high school, they showed me what I can do with it and who I can become with music. And ever since then, I've just absolutely been head over heels for it. Well, what made you want to start to audition? Well, I figured that if I'm going to do something I love, then I might as well make a living out of it. You know, and, and it's so hard to see all these people in the corporate world going to their nine to five jobs, pretending to be happy, when really they're, they're just so sad and it's such a waste. I'm sorry. Look, it's fine. It's <laughs> actually, um, I think it's pretty cool that you're following your dreams. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yes, sir. Never been better. It says here you'll be playing all the things you are, is that correct? No, I'm sorry, that must be some kind of mistake. I'll be doing Summertime by George Gershwin. Whenever you're ready. I know you're still pissed at me. I am still pissed at you. Okay, I know. I've been an asshole. Nance, I did what you said. Okay, I played what I loved and the judges loved it too. Hey, don't hurt me. You, you can't hurt me because then the Grammy band directors would have to find a new saxophone player and, and they'd be really pissed. Nance, I got the job. 